we were in the hospital for a week. And it was, uh, you know, it's hard. It's just, it's, it's a time when you go back that you think, oh, you don't understand the blessings that are about to be given to you, right? But it's more, you know, you just feel for your child and it's the unknown and it's the fear. I look closer and, uh, you know, I could tell from the back of his neck and I thought, oh my God, he has Down syndrome. At that moment, you're full of fear, you're not educated, you know nothing. It's, it's almost hate to say it, your friends come to you and they apologize and we're so sorry and we're trying to celebrate this birth. Uh, but that was just the launch pad. This way, I, I, I feel, I feel great. I feel great. When he was a kid, a young boy, SU basketball is just insane. You know, that's all he talked about. Uh, he was cute as it could be. Uh, it just loved it. I think probably when he was three, maybe not even. I remember Matt came home from work one day and he said, I heard about this great program up at SU. They have a really good program about for um, kids with disabilities. And, and I said to him, he's going to go there. And don't ask me how, but he will be on that men's SU basketball team. Mama, hey, guys, yeah, they're going to go do it. Hey, guys. Looks good, man. Yeah. They're going to be a bummer stop guy. He can be sort of. It's good, buddy. And we got a buddy right here. Buddy, is that butter? I own a hair salon, and I had the opportunity to cut Julie Behind's hair and Buddy and Jimmy. And uh, so we create a relationship. I do. Yes, yeah, it, right. man. All see ya. Right. 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 Ten moments and a half for me. Okay. And uh, I happened to see Julie at Wegmans, and I said, "Harry's at Inclusive View up at SU, and he's loving it. That's so great." And then I get a text from her, and uh, it wasn't until later on I reread the text and realized that she invited him to be a manager on the SU team. He'll say, Dad, Dad, I, I go down walk out. And he'll imitate practice verbatim. You know, first he starts working out, he cranks his hip hop way up loud. And, and like, a, he, he calls out the plays, three, 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 and he starts yelling and he's screaming and he's working out. And sometimes I sneak down there and I look and uh, he's just enthralled. He probably works out Every day, he's in better shape than anybody in the family. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> his, his enthusiasm and his confidence. Think it good, Harry. <laughs> there it is. He's very cut. He's in great shape. You know, he's always showing you his guns. Oh yeah, the sense of pride, sense of awareness and the importance in health. Um, and the sense of belonging. And the guys are precious. I mean, the guys are so accepting, so good. Yeah, it comes from now. Hey! Hey! I'm famous now, man. See? That's good! <laughs> Frank's his boy. Yo, what you got to tell them people there? Hey, heads up, baby! I think, uh, he probably steals the hearts of certain players. So many people have helped him and have been so supportive and have helped him get to where he is and where, to where he wants to be. So if his story and his accomplishments can help anybody in, in that kind of situation, I'm more than happy to share. Ah. Uh. He doesn't even know how much he's done. I think that's what I'm most proud about, is how pure he is. How loving, pure, happy he is. And anyone who comes into that circle drinks that up and changes. And I think he's gonna be wonderful for everyone he's touched. It's amazing. You know, he's an amazing kid. I said to Matt, you know what? He's just supposed to do something. When they see a Down syndrome kid, or if they see a special needs person out there, that they're going to be kinder, they're going to help more, they're going to be more accepting, and I think he, he's that tool. 
That's just a good one.